in basso, eh? Vai, vai. Vai. This was one of the Pope's first gestures for peace in Ukraine. It happened in February of 2014. The Pope prayed for the 17 people killed at a pro-European Union demonstration, which was violently repressed by Yanukovych's pro-Russia government. Sono vicino con la preghiera all'Ucraina. In particolare a quanti hanno perso la vita in questi giorni e alle loro famiglie. Russia managed to annex the Crimean Peninsula, but that didn't put an end to the conflict. A year later, Pope Francis addressed these words to pilgrims visiting St. Peter's Basilica. Fratelli e sorelle, so che tra le tante altre intenzioni che portate alle tombe degli apostoli c'è la richiesta della pace in Ucraina. Porto nel cuore lo stesso desiderio e mi unisco alla vostra preghiera perché al più presto venga la pace duratura nella vostra patria. In 2015, Pope Francis met with Vladimir Putin and asked him to respect the peace agreements signed in Minsk and to allow humanitarian workers access to Crimea. That same year, he also met with the then president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, and assured him that he never forgets to pray for Ukraine. Pope Francis wanted to travel to Ukraine, but because the situation was too complicated, he instead visited the Ukrainian Catholic community in Rome. Sono qui per dirvi che vi sono vicino. Vicino col cuore, vicino con la preghiera, vicino quando celebro l'Eucaristia. Lì supplico il principe della pace, perché tacciano le armi. The conflict has escalated once more. Pope Francis began sounding the alarm months before all-out war broke out. Desidero assicurare la mia preghiera per la cara Ucraina per tutte le sue chiese e comunità religiose e per tutto il suo popolo, perché le tensioni ad essa siano risolte attraverso un serio dialogo internazionale e non con le armi. At various general audiences and Angelus gatherings in 2022, the Pope prayed for Ukraine. In February, he expressed his deep pain and concern over the worsening situation and the development of increasingly alarming events. Vorrei appellarmi a quanti hanno responsabilità politiche perché facciano un serio esame di coscienza davanti a Dio che è Dio della pace e non della guerra. The Pope also called for a day of fasting and prayer for the country. Cardinal Pietro Parolin launched a message expressing the Vatican's willingness to be a mediator in the conflict. Pope Francis visited the Russian embassy to the Holy See, a strong diplomatic gesture that completely broke with protocol. At an Angelus in late February, the Pope greeted Ukrainians in St. Peter's Square in their own language, and he asked that refugees be welcomed and that humanitarian corridors be established. Penso agli anziani, a quanti in queste ore cercano rifugio, alle mamme in fuga con i loro bambini. Sono fratelli e sorelle per i quali è urgente aprire corridoi umanitari Pope Francis's most recent gesture was to send two cardinals to Ukraine. They are Cardinal Konrad Krajewski from Poland and Cardinal Michael Czerny, who was born in the former Czechoslovakia. Their mission is to communicate the Pope's nearness to victims of war.